for having me. All right, great. Well, we want to really make sure we're going to get on time. So, um, Adam, who we have next? Yeah, well, it's uh, uh, Total. Uh, there's a product that they've produced, which is called Awango, uh, which is a really exciting product because what it is, is uh, it's such a simple solution, um, but it's uh, dealing with a number of intersecting problems. And so really looking forward to uh, finding out how uh, a big organization is helping lots of people in the developing world. Great, so I'd like to welcome Ariane uh, Delardel and Charlotte Jeffrey. Thank you for coming and thank you for being a partner for her. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, so let's start. As you may already know, since we've been repeating it a lot lately, there are 1.3 billion people with no access to electricity in the world, meaning they don't have light, basically. And 2.7 billion people who do not have access to clean cooking solutions. As a major energy company, it is Total's responsibility to address this issue. So for many years, there have been initiatives with uh, gas in Nigeria or Yemen, mob mobility or heating in France, or solar projects uh, in other countries in order to provide access to energy to the most disadvantaged communities. But to coordinate and professionalize those initiatives, uh, the group has launched the Total Access to Energy program in 2010. The aim of the program is to test and develop new models, economically viable, that can last and impact as many people as possible. Um, the first large-scale project implemented through this program is the Awongo by Total Offer. Uh, it is a business response to a social issue uh, ensuring affordable, reliable, and sustainable, and modern energy for all. The business model of Awongo by Total relies on eight basic rules, uh, designing and sourcing quality products, uh, an efficient supply chain and logistics, training people with responsible marketing tools, developing a last mile distribution channel, uh, coming up with financing solution ideas, after sales service and recycling analysis, customer feedback studies and surveys, and at the end of the day, reinvesting every profit within the project itself. Um, the Awongo by Total Offer goes with an uh, extensive range of uh, solar products, providing light or so, uh, mo mobile uh, charging solutions, or modular kits with TVs, fans, radios, more elaborate uh, solutions. In order to build the customer journey and promote new markets, we are also currently developing a new range of cook stoves, uh, combining fuel efficiency and uh, clean combustion. Actually, we want to bring our customers to the cleanest solutions using LPG by providing them with a range of solutions that are far safer than the three stones uh, traditional cook stoves. You know, three stones, some wood, and a lot of fumes um, that are existing today. In order to uh, bring those solutions to the people living in most remote areas, uh, we are also testing new distribution models, such as rural kiosks, solar kiosks based in rural areas, and distributing various types of products, such as food, and including solar lamps. Uh, and we are also testing a rent and own model based in the Philippines and operated by an NGO, and it, which is dedicated more specifically to people living in the slums. Um, today, the Awongo by to Total offer is distributed throughout uh, 36 countries approximately and will be distributed in more than 40 countries by the end of this year. Um, since the launch of the program, uh, the lives of 9 million people have been impacted, uh, and 85% of our customers say that their solar lamp has significantly improved their daily lives. But to keep on 
bringing access to energy uh, to people, we still need to face uh, heavy and uh, big challenges, such as, for example, how to reach the people living in the most isolated places, and also, very importantly, how to sell our products to people earning less than $2 a day. The key success fa factor for facing those challenges is partnering with as many experts as possible in the access to energy field, institutions, uh, manufacturers, NGOs, other industrial groups such as ours. Thanks to all those partners, almost half of the lamps we've, we've sold so far have been distributed outside the Total Shops network. As I said before, we want to go further, and we want to impact at least 25 million people in Africa by 2020. We want to develop and promote our social model uh, within the company and outside the company. We, have a, we want to have a positive impact on the climate as well. But as I said before, it's no use uh, developing quality products uh, for people when they actually can't afford to buy them. So now I will let Charlotte explain to you what she's done to solve this problem. Thank you, Ariane. Um, hello, everybody. So first, I want to say that hopefully I'm not alone, and you'll see this in a minute. So as Ariane has just told you, uh, we mainly target people who earn less than $2 a day. And when you need to buy food, clothes, bus tickets, there's hardly any sense left at the end of the day to bring light to your home because of course you're, you're also not connected to the grid. So um, here um, and on the other side you have an offer of energy solutions that are high quality products so they, it also means that uh, they, cost, uh, they cost a lot, uh, they, goes with a two, they go with a two year warranty so we also need, because Total is not a bank, nor a microfinance institutions, we cannot grant loans. So once again, we needed to find partners and experimented partners that could support our clients in buying uh, those products. Um, some, a couple of partnerships have already been developed in some countries with microfinance institutions, but on a very local basis, and they take a lot of time. It's not easy to scale up this type of partnership, so we were looking for larger scale solutions. And hopefully, nearly two years ago, we met the perfect actor to tackle this issue with us. Uh, this actor is Babylon. Maybe some of you have heard about them. Babylon is not only supporting microfinance institutions, they are also leveraging the crowdfunding capacity from any individual like us to support microcredit locally. Babylon is the European leader of uh, microcredit, crowdfunding microcredits, so this definitely helped to build this partnership. But one of the strongest uh, advantage of Babylon is that they are also a social business. So it, this means that we share the same vision of maximizing impact through economic sustainability. So now I think it's time to uh, see a short video that will describe this partnership. Thank you. There are still many places on the planet where access to energy is extremely complicated. Awango by Total develops energy access solutions for isolated populations. But simply marketing these products isn't enough. What matters is making sure they actually reach those who need them most. Take Anna, for example. She needs solar lamps to light up her shop after dark, and she also wants to buy some to sell to her customers. And Oscar is hoping to buy some improved ovens so that he can open up a restaurant. But what can they do when traditional banks refuse to give them the funds they need for their projects? Luckily, there are microfinance institutions, MFIs, which offer small loans for just such situations. This is known as microcredit. 
This system means that Anna and Oscar can become micro-entrepreneurs and pay back the MFI that believed in their projects. To link up members of the public who can support these projects by lending money with micro-entrepreneurs, Babylon has set up a crowdfunding platform. And specifically for access to energy, Babylon and Awango by Total are joining forces and launching a dedicated site for projects like these. On this site, you can select a project like Anna's or Oscar's and offer a loan, a philanthropic loan, not a donation. Once you've got your money back, you can reinvest it in another project, then another, then another. In just a few clicks, you can improve the day-to-day -day lives of so many people. Find out more at accesstoenergy.org. Thank you. So now I'm sure that uh, you all know what you have to do. You just have to go to this website. You can choose any project you want. You can lend any amount of money you want. And in a couple of months, of months, you will be able to lend again. So that's really the strong advantage of this project. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Um, we still have some time. We'll have a question. We'll take a, one from the gentleman right there. Can we grab a... One from there. Ça dépend, c est, c est. Yes, and one from there. Just one, one second. Yeah, one person. Okay. Why are you trying to give or make debt into countries that haven't got any money? We You're introducing debt to people who are living on two dollars a day or less. Why are you trying to sell them things? And why are you not trying to look at Europe, Europe and United States and how they consume energy and how you generate clean energy rather than trying to sell new products to people who don't potentially might not need it or cannot afford it. So, so that is one way to see it. But at the end of the day, what we, uh, what we know is that buying and buying over and over again uh, traditional energies such as candles or batteries or kerosene uh, for lamps uh, costs more than investing for a product that after a period, let's say, of six months, is going to be free and is going to last for more than five years. So this is four years of free energy as opposed to keep on having to buy uh, energies that are very temporary. So obviously, this creates a debt because it's, uh, because it's a loan. But, uh, a debt it, to who? It creates a debt to the most disadvantaged people. But Great. at the end of the well day, done. it helps them uh, earn more money than, the, than if they didn't have the state debt to begin with. So it's a, I, small, I it's a small loan. It's, uh, I mean, our lumps are expensive for people who don't earn anything. Can you Obviously. not give the products to the people and charity organizations and give them for free? Okay, right. but so this is philanthropy, and philanthropy is, going, is going one time. We can, we, obviously, for disaster relief situation, we are used to giving some products to people in need. But this doesn't act as a sustainable model, and it won't last. The model needs to be economically viable in order to last and impact as many people as possible, as, as we said before. Thing is, for example, the lamps are, ha, go with a uh, two-year warranty. If we just give them once and go away, who is going to uh, take charge of the after-sales service and exchange the lamp with another one if ever there's a problem? And we're going to impact a small amount of people once, but not a large amount of people. And this financing uh, uh, issue is, is a really complicated one. I mean, even without the microcredit industry, people are uh, gathered together in some villages in Africa, and they do the same thing. They gather together for, let's say, a village, and everyone brings a, a little bit of money and, and, and shares it with one person who's going to be able to buy something more expensive, and, it's, and then it's some, someone else's turn. But it goes, with, uh, it goes with the price as well. It goes the same way. Great. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not against the argument. I just like want to really respect the time. That's what it is. So, um, please. Yeah, um, I just want to ask, where are you producing these light sources? Are you mm. producing them? Yeah. Most of them the in Asia. Or? 
Most of them in Asia, uh, Asia um, has the uh, expertise uh, to create the little elements, the devices within the lamp. Yeah. Uh, we have an assembly um, company in Africa as well, in order to promote locally uh, and create some jobs. But uh, the expertise in the, is in Asia. So we've audited at the beginning of the project. We've audited some 30 uh, companies and just selected two of them. And we keep on auditing them every year. So basically, they're the leaders today of picovoltaic solutions, solar solutions. And we're, we have been growing with them for five years now. Good. I think we need to wrap it up. I'm sorry, we're time over. And you can ask some questions. You're going to be around, right? Uh, we will. Awesome. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. A little token for Thank us. you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you.